In video 2.6.6, we discovered that flat, two-dimensional shapes or surfaces are measured using two dimensions or directions, and that solid, three-dimensional objects also have thickness or depth, so they are measured using three dimensions or directions. For example, a photograph of a house is 2D, but the house itself is 3D. Now, Max and Min wanted to have a closer look at three-dimensional solid objects. So they looked around and found some solid objects. A plastic cube, a soup can, a small block of wood, and they even found a model of a pyramid. So Max, said Min, Mrs Masters said that there are some words we need to know when describing 3D objects. The flat, two-dimensional side of a solid object is called a face. For example, a cube has six 2D faces, which are all squares. This pyramid has five faces, which are all 2D shapes, a rectangular base, and four triangles. The straight line that joins two faces of a solid object, like this, is called an edge. A cube has 12 edges. The point where the edges of a solid object meet at a corner like this is called a vertex. More than one vertex are called vertices. A cube has eight vertices. That is correct, Min, agreed Max. As well as having five faces, this pyramid has eight edges and five vertices. The soup can is a cylinder. It has two end faces, which are 2D circles, one curved surface in between, and no straight edges or vertices. This block of wood is a rectangular prism. Pause the video and count how many faces, edges and vertices it has. Did you count 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices, which is the same as in a cube? Find some solid objects at home and practice counting how many faces, edges and vertices they have. Now you can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.